It would probably be free time soon. Not long after I got to the dining hall, the others began to trickle in. And after a few minutes... Hmm. So, is this everyone? Clearly it's not. Well, then. Okay, let's discuss what we all discovered. But it's... okay, what... Byakuya Toko. Hmm. Yeah, good idea. Alright. Yeah! There was a big shelf in the chem lab on the fourth floor, and it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. <laughs> Such a little kid. He <laughs> had chemicals and stuff. Okay. And there was an all-star cast of nutrient additives and supplements. I think uh, that one chemical was like something a supplement that you put in your yeah. protein you put in your drink or something. Okay. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. <sighs> I think you and Ogre are probably the Jeez. only ones interested in stuff like that. What's your name, Ogami? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. There was medicine and health stuff, but on top of that... Chemical murder weapons. Um... There was also, yep. um, a bunch of different poisons. P poison mm. They were all labeled clearly, though, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. That's, like, arguably more dangerous. It's true. Still, we better make sure we're careful around there. Um... And we probably shouldn't tell Byaki or Toko about the poison, right? We could just dispose of or it right just, now. They'll just find out themselves because they're yeah. They there's no way know. they'll ever go in the chem lab. Yeah. Huh? What do you mean? Well. Well, just in case, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, um. Just in case. Yeah, I think you're right. However. I have no idea what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just agreeing with you because I don't want to f f sound right. even more stupid. It's Byakia. It won't be long before he's discovered it for himself. But to put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open, that's absolutely the work of the mastermind. Hmm. I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and the headmaster's room. I love how his contribution is what he couldn't find. Yeah. <laughs> ah. The headmaster's room? That sounds like exactly the kind of place we'd find some clues. The other thing that I find interesting about this game, and I know you're the main character, so you have to look at all the rooms, yeah. but they all look at like one or two rooms. Yeah, that is span, weird. Span time I went to the camp like, lab, I guess I'm done. Yeah. yeah. If we could somehow unlock the door and get inside. But Who cares about a stupid lock? How about that? It should be no problem for the world's strongest missing link to knock down one measly door. It, dude, watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No, please, continue! Jeez. Did you say I've got the nicest butt on the block? The curviest tips in town? Is that what you said? What? What the heck? Hell no, I didn't! Hey! Then what Come did you- <clears throat> I'm mixing oh. up my voices. Then what did you say? Because I know you weren't talking about tearing down the door to the headmaster's room. <laughs> Knocking down your headmaster's door? What kind of war and education are you trying to start here? Your teacher had That's my room, you know. It is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? Kind of. That was a lot of... Yeah. yeah. You seriously don't want to piss me off. You have any idea how much bacteria lives on a single bear claw? It depends donut? Yeah. Or... Well, if you throw it out, I guess... Uh... No, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're totally mad! <laughs> this is amazing. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're gonna go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add to the school regulations. Wow, from now on, how about we only ever converse in the bath? Uh, yeah, right. Seriously? Too bad. Breaking down a locked door is prohibited. There, that's a rule now, you jerks! Whoa, 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 wait, 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 we can, we can pick the lock though, that's not breaking it down. Mm -hmm. He always sets yeah, up his little, regulations yeah. to have a, obviously you can... <sighs> Is he gone? <sighs> Whew, man, I was scared for my life. I was sure he was gonna kill me, for serious. Yeah, well now you're sure the soccer is gonna kill you for serious. Well. But, if he would go out of his way to make up a rule like that, there's no doubt that something important must be hidden in the headmaster's room. But or now it's a red herring. Yeah, but now that it's a rule, there's nothing we can do. She probably thought of what you thought of. Yeah. Huh. 
Metal sheets had been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budged an inch. In other words... Just like everywhere else. Mm. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. Especially because if you jump out, you might not... Well, I said this in an earlier installment, but it really would amuse me if, like, the fifth floor had, like, no barrier on the window at all. It's like, mm. here, here's your escape, I dare you. I mean, on the other hand, though, you could probably communicate with the outside world if you had yeah. a window, so, no. Um, Kyoko? She's ignoring me. For God's sake, Kyoko. They're like high schoolers. They're gonna be like that. But she seems to be the least drama-oriented. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, Makoto? No, it's fine. Like, are you freaking kidding me, Kyoko? Does Kyoko seem upset to you? It's gonna be one of those, like, Hey, Owie, tell Makoto that I'm not talking <laughs> to her. <him." laughs> That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Y yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. Ah, uh, this is bad. Hmm. So, has everyone said what they need to say? I think so. We're serious. It looks like nobody found any clues at all, let alone a way out of here. Uh, I haven't been this depressed, depressed since my house burned to the ground. Jeez. Someone do something to cheer me up. This guy. Um, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was <laughs> smoking in bed. Okay. Well, <laughs> I honestly think he's my favorite character. He's amazing. Because I, I love the characters who are like really dumb. But end up being helpful, even and though they would, don't always try to be. And that was really good comedic timing, too. Yeah. That's... No. I have something <laughs> I'd like to report. So, you guys all remember, right? You remember when I found the picture up on the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You mean the one that showed Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. What about it? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Huh? Another one? But this time, the picture was of Celeste Hifumi of Sayaka. And they were all smiling. No, they weren't. And the classroom of the picture didn't have any metal covering the windows. <sighs> so the picture of Mondo, Chihiro, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one that had Celeste Hifumi and Sakia? Saka... Sa uh, yeah. Sa yeah, wait! Sa yeah, it does say Sakaya. Sakaya. That Typo. Is... Yeah. Okay. Also, yes, yeah, Sakura, that's exactly what you said. Oh, that, that confused me. I was that, like, wait yeah. a second, did I pronounce it wrong? Yeah, who's his name? name? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I thought at first. I was like, no, it's... Uh, oh. See, you notice more spelling errors when you say it out loud. Well, yeah, that's what I tell my students. <laughs> that's, that's, you, you edit way better if you read it out loud. <laughs> but how can that... Conspiracy! Murakuma must have faked it. But if the picture is real... Which he told you it's real. Yeah, but, but what does yeah. that mean? I mean, he, to be fair, yeah. he has been honest, yeah. but yeah. Then everyone who was in it... There would have to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? what? It can't be! It's a fake! But Monokuma said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but... So then... Then you trust Monokuma's word over the people who have died? Well, what do you mean their word? Oh. Huh? Because that's what you're saying, isn't it? Kyoko, to me. She's mad at you. She's yeah, really mad Kyoko, at you. Kyoko, can we can we take this to one of our rooms, please? <laughs> like, no, that's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refused to do the same. I should get that smirk. Mm -hmm. You know what, Kyoko? That's not. What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's. Did she made it very clear? But okay. Hey, come on. Come on, guys, stop fighting. Or all your good luck is gonna float away. Anyway, Makoto, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way Monokuma didn't fake that picture. Of course. He's just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything Monokuma has to say. Big words for someone who listens to everything he has to say, Sakura. Well, she said that she's not gonna do it. I any know, longer. starting now, yeah, yeah. right now. Y you might be right, but still. Um. I've, Byakuya or Togo, sure so it's, it's me. Yeah. Probably Byakuya. Yeah. Are you still so conflicted? What? Hey! Because <laughs> Toko would not talk about yeah. that. It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Bianca! <laughs> you all have the same sunken look on your faces. You were all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. Hmm. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. You know? He's saying you're shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Whoa, what? Hey! <laughs> a Whoa, that's so rude all of a sudden. 
Just a second. Why are you apologizing? What the heck? Leave us alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. That's true enough. Your problems aren't mine. We are and always be completely separate. So whatever's causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if I happen to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't concern you in the slightest. Oh, and Makoto, I would tell Kyoko about it. <laughs> God damn it, Piafia! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like he was watching the entire time. Yeah. He knows exactly Ooh. what he did. <laughs> huh? huh? Did he finally say something useful? Hey. Byakuya, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> uh, I don't have any secrets to keep. <laughs> Perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do you some good. Such I was goodness. in the bath. What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers? He was taking no. a bath. Oh my god. Is he saying he's been talking okay. to Alter Ego? Did he tell him something? It would seem... Maybe we should all go take a bath. Mm. Ah, good idea. But I don't want to... Oh, oh, oh! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's... Uh, yeah, thanks, Yasuhiro. A Yasa mixed Hero. bath? Okay. A mixed bath? If Alter Ego really did tell him something, I wonder what it could have been. <laughs> Alright, let's take one more scene, I think. Oh, this is done. It actually makes me go to the bath. Which was... Bath. Okay. By the way, isn't that suspicious enough? Like, we should take a bath. Right now. Yeah. Like, okay, come on. When I got to the dressing room... Toko was sitting alone on the bench, the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you decide to come here at Alter Ego as to say too? What's your problem? I, I already heard it with Master. With Master. <laughs> Ugh. You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? Doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop b bothering me. I'm having Alter Ego help me make an even better, most amazing romantic novel starring me and Byakuya. <laughs> How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Mm, wow! Well. No, I made Master a promise. Mm. A promise? It's always easier doing voices when you have a lot fewer to... Yeah. Master told me to wait here, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you, his dog? <laughs> if it's what Master <laughs> wants, I'd do anything he, he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. Uh -oh. oh no! <laughs> what? Hey guys, what's going on? Um, we'd like you to move. Yes. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First a mega masochist, now a super sadist. Oh boy, save you for last. Who am I talking to first? Let's aim properly. Listen, Kyoko. About that picture from before? <laughs> She's being very thorough about pretending I don't exist. That's so immature, like, goddamn. Hmm. Well, guess we have no choice but to use force. A shot to the face would stand out, so go for the gut. Okay, you go and do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, but she's a girl, and more importantly, a serial killer. What the heck? Who cares? I've already got a mountain of losses <laughs> waiting for me when I get out. What's one more? <laughs> this guy! <laughs> and the thing is, he's what, like 20? Like, no, he was 30-something. He was like 34, no. wasn't he? No, because he's only a few years ahead. Oh, of that's what it was? He's okay. like 21 or something like that, but still, he's like, not a that old. Of he's a yeah. <laughs> hey, Afro Thunder, don't get any bright ideas, okay? Hi, You're totally baby. not adorable, so I'll make sure you live when I stab you, but it'll hurt like hell. Uh, um... I'm strong against women and children. But not women and children that seem strong. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's kind of funny. This guy's the worst. <laughs> Just like I would totally beat up a kid, but like not. Not I think he can fight back. Yeah, not I think he can beat me. <laughs> it's like, jeez, come on. What the heck? Whatever it is, I really don't want to have to beg her. Come on, Makoto, just do it. Wow, alright. Here, you do it. I don't want to beg, you beg. Well, why is it gonna be me? What are you saying? It's fine. It's not the end of the world if you beg a little. So it's not a problem if you do it. Yeah, but the <laughs> same goes for you. No, it would be the end of the world for me. You sound like a little kid right now. It's just Sakura just... No. Yeah. Well, she's essentially our opponent right now. I know how to deal with those. I'm not sure I trust her to keep her word even if we did do a chest. I was your matchmaker, Toko, so, uh... Um, Toko, 
seriously? I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. <laughs> Didn't you hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg! Come on, Makoto! Give her the old one-two combo! One, drop your knees, <laughs> two, beseech! That's pretty great. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel in front of her, and I said, Hey, Byakuya! Please, I'm begging you, will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> I'm on Such an ultra-miraculous feeling of happiness! All my pent-up anger at Master for abusing me is evaporating! So even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay! Ah, oh, sweet! In fact, we begged so hard to disappear completely. Did she? No, no okay. She I'll get to bed every night for the rest of my life thinking about what just happened. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakuya, but I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um, uh, I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way. Resting on the keyboard, my hands just started to shake. Just a second. Move. I kind of figured, like, why am I the one typing all of a sudden? The single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Kyoko began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure. I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. And one particularly important fact I discovered was that a certain plan had been put into effect here. To isolate the students of Hope's Peak Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the stated goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. The students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. Th that's... I see. It's exactly the situation we found ourselves in. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was... None other than the administrators of Hope's Peak themselves. Huh? What? Wait, hold on! Then the reason we've been imprisoned here... It wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was the school itself? <gasps> that doesn't make any sense! Why would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. It seems that the reason they devised this plan was because of what happened one year ago. This is how they describe that event. They said it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I mean, the Holocaust was pretty bad, but when you see what this, it is, it's it's worse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What does that mean? Yeah. What kind of name is that for something? Otherwise known as the tragedy. It's so tragic that the T is capitalized. Yeah, it reminds me of Fatal Frame 1. It's, it's, the it's not just a tragedy, it's the tragedy. Oh, yeah. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is, one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. And whatever it was, it forced Hope's Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of staging ground. That's right. They planned to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope's Peak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey! And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Kyoko had typed their questions into the computer. And the answer we got was... Sorry, I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer, and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. The mastermind? Kyoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, that I still don't know, but I did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Hope's Peak staff, the one who finalized the plan to isolate you, was the Hope's Peak headmaster. 
So that same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. I do have my doubts, because Monokuma said, That's my office, at least it is now. Mm. And according to the files, the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? Is here in this school? In the school? Damn. Okay. And that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monokuma's been calling himself headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. We're serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? Well, remember at the end of the third trial, she asked Monokuma, like, what happens to her body? Like, was she transformed or something? Mm. When she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seemed to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. Sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> then... it really is all over. Hey. Wait. Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but... I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Hufumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. They're all dead. Huh? What? Um, I see. Certainly I knew that that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. It really happened. Sorry. Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway... Well then, I guess that's it. That's it? A simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. She's very to the point. Yeah. I'm done? I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Then maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Whatever that <laughs> means. <Yeah. laughs> Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So, Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. Yeah, but come on, help the guy out. Mm -hmm. But... But I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he's just a computer program, right? Well... I know, but still, he did everything he could for us, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I mean... I mean, yeah, it did. But that's what a computer program is designed to do. You don't tell a computer good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. But when we talked to Alter Ego, I guess it just didn't. I didn't just. Didn't, that, that, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. I feel the same way. Hey. Hey, come on. It's just a program. You can tell the difference between a program and a friend, right? I don't know, man. You can blur that line. But you know, what's the difference between us and that program, really? Huh? I started thinking about how you would differentiate a person and an AI. It was called the Talos Principle. I played through the whole game. <laughs> Alter Ego isn't human, I know that. It's just a program running on a computer. But at the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think... Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> and there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out! Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. I love how he opens with like, check this out. Like, yeah. I'm about to drop a sweet number on you. So... So anyway. What? What? Don't so anyway that. It's a totally smart and cool thing that I quoted from I don't remember where. <laughs> hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease with which you decide who and who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? 
Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What was the Hope's Peak staff thinking? Wh what Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said that what happened one year ago is what started everything. No. Yeah, he said that it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? It must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... Was it like personal? Like, my, you know, my girlfriend dumped me? Like, was it like one of those? Yeah. I don't remember anything that hap happening that could be described that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of a connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something. Yeah, but in human history? However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Then, maybe they covered it up. That would explain why none of us had... None of us knew the school had even had been shut down. I see. Totally covering up something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Maybe. But right now there's only one path open to us. So... We have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what? As long as we can get our hands on him, I think... Kyoko? When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well... But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then... Well, our business is done here. So for now, we should get out of here. Uh, um... Oh yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I... Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean... Uh oh I'm not waiting anymore! I'm not guarding it. <laughs> Bianca's gonna b be so mad at me. <sighs> Let's avoid getting involved any farther. Any further. Uh, um... Good call. Alright. But as we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. That's kinda scary. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away! <laughs> It's pounding with anger! <laughs> You're not still mad about the whole breaking into the headmaster's room thing, are you? <sighs> oh, that little matter doesn't matter doesn't matter even a little. That's kinda funny. And I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying an indecent mixed bath, but that doesn't matter either. <laughs> it's building! I feel it building! My head's about to boil angry. over with rage! Don't get, a, don't get so angry! Here, let me help center your chakra. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back! An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang! That's pretty scary. Fang for a fang? Be careful! He just chanted the inc incantation of devastation! No, it's just a saying. Hmm. Oh, I see. <laughs> but what's he talking about? If he's aware that we mess with him with Alter Ego or like the bath, the whole concept, we are in such trouble. No, that's just the that's end gonna, of the day. Yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for us. <clears throat> As such, soon the doors to the d Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. tight. Don't, Don't let, let the, the bed bugs, bugs bite. bite. We all stayed in unison. So, it's nighttime. Hey. What did everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested, a, suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we should still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Uh, um. I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. But people still I like how that they, rule regularly. I know, but I like how they brought it up. Where that like, is interesting, yeah. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Because they could have just had everyone go to their rooms, so they bring up the fact that do we yeah. really need something to do that? Because Celeste that was is interesting. The one who Monokuma's parting words left me feeling anxious the rest of the night. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Alter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head, like a record baby. 
The administrators right of round, Ho- maybe. Yeah, right yeah. Round. the administrators of Hope's Peak had planned all of this. They did it because of the tragedy, which had happened a year before, and apparently the headmaster is the one behind it all, the mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried, but I still have to try to unravel them bit by bit. I'm sure the road will be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Monokuma Theater? Hey. Every night. Yep. I finally remembered it. So it's crab. crab. Let's talk a bit about where I was bo- where I was before I became a bear. Where I was at. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But as she laid out all the details, it turned out... It wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped, but a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I would have been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp, but I don't want to be one myself. Plus, someone might come along and step on me. So then the lady totally started laughing at me. She was like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? What the hell is this? <laughs> so ultimately, I decided to become a bear instead. That wasn't as expensive as tiger prawn. And that's the secret origin story of... And the new that's thing so was stupid. And the new a thing was a crab. Barely relevant. Oh, what? yeah, yeah, well, Barely well played relevant. me. Yeah, I'm very good. I'm so good at it. Let me try. Free time? Probably need more story. Yeah. Either way, we're cutting this off. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Get ready to greet another, another beautiful, beautiful day. day. First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. All right. We certainly got a lot done, but for now, it is time to stop the 